We got a call from the office and it's time to go do another leak detection. Now that I got my Jacobs hydrogen leak detector fixed and a full tank of hydrogen nitrogen mix. Got another leak between this well house and the main house. Gonna hook up the Jacobs and air. Let me get this onto the hose bib in the garage. It's a huge leak, so hopefully we'll get it quick. All right, we got our tank here. Gonna go in through this. Put the hydrogen in there. Should purge through this T and in theory, should go out through there, should be fine. Leak detection is one of those things that you get into it thinking you're gonna just pinpoint leaks very easily, but as you do it more and more, you realize it's kind of an art and it's frustrating. And this job is no exception. I isolated the system down so that I could only energize the problem area between the well and the house. Haven't used this thing since the uh, repair. It's been kind of quiet for leak detections lately. Maybe because we're, we haven't been advertising for them. That might be the reason I need to check on that. That's firing up. Let's hope this fires up like it's supposed to. Please. Hmm, there it goes. Come on, there it goes. It's doing what it's supposed to. Pump's working, we're going. Ooh, I hear something. Oh, I can hear it. It's right here. Oh yeah, there we go. Bingo, that took about five minutes. Good job, good job, good job, Jacobs. And Almost immediately, within five minutes, I have hydrogen bubbling out of the ground. And I'm like, oh, the leak's right there, because normally that's how it works. So Caleb, our laborer, came in, in, to help. And as we started to dig, we were like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? There it is right there. I dialed the gas way back and got it narrowed down to this one spot. So here we go. There it is. It's a split in the poly. It was under a root we have dug. Look at this thing. That's impressive, Caleb. That's deeper than it was. That's the one. It turns out that that leak had followed a root tunnel over on this bank and was showing itself four feet away from the location of the actual leak. Very frustrating and it took us a lot of work to dig it, but we honored our quote and we got it done. Polyethylene, we call it farmer's pipe around here. It's a pretty problematic material and it always tends to split like you see in this video. And uh, this is a typical case of polyethylene. Of course, I recommended that they replace the line, but at the time that we were out there, they didn't want to spend the money.
to do the full replacement. So we patched it. At the end of the day, I'm so glad that the customer had us do the dig because they could have saved money if they dug it and we came back and just did the repair. But he would have been so frustrated with my leak detection because I was about four feet off. And you've got to be ever so careful if you've got concrete or any kind of strong surface because it can come up quite a ways away from where the leak actually is. Yeah. Well, you can... I like the... Uh... And hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the On It Plumbing channel. I do my best to provide good content for you guys and uh, I like to know it's appreciated. More leak detection stuff coming up soon.